How are we doing, guys? It's your boy Prophet here, and uh, this episode, Our holy work we are going to go after the uh, boss at the lower pilgrim's perch. But for now, let's. There you go. So I collected, remember from the last episode, the Book of Sin. And this is another piece of the quest line for Exacta uh, uh, Dunmire. So we're going to hand over the book in and see what he has to say. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, all facets of this heterodoxy must be exposed. Is that all he says? He said that same thing as a, the bloody blood vial. This land is to offer you little. Also, saying that they yes. are already Okay, let's see what. You'll serve a higher purpose. These are the new. Um. Uh, bloody hell. These are the new items that you get when you hand him hand over the blood vial. Which ain't much. Uh, it does have a lot. That has a lot of holy resistance. Uh, and smite and bleed. Which is, to me, can be quite good. Uh, we are still going for the... Ugh, a bit chilly. I think I've got zero, yeah, because I died. Uh, it doesn't matter if I die again, as of we can always get more. Um, I would like the Radiant Flare, though. That's quite nice. To strive in darkness, We're going to see if the captain has gone. Because if the captain's gone, then... No, he's still there. Any new? Nope. No new talkings. There's someone down here. There he is. Look at you. A dark crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back. You don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. Best watch a step out. Mornstead is a land awash in blood. Both deserved and undeserved alike. Ah, oh, I, I gathered that, yeah. Best watch a step out. Mornstead is a And one more. Best watch a step out. Mornstead is a Okay, uh... Nothing in there. We did check in here on the second episode when we just had a look at Skyrest Bridge. Uh, it's got something in my eye, and it's not my eye. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong, and that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong. Much as he might think otherwise. Okay, let me get myself more. Yeah. Comfortable. Hope you guys can hear me alright. Let's actually see how the volumes are right now. Uh, volumes seem okay. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Uh, okay. Alright. One more. If in doubt, much as he might think of. Okay, uh, purchase. We don't have any of whatever that needs, to be honest. No, nope, uh, an indestructible table. Don't see them. Uh, don't see many of them nowadays. We've gone round there. We've gone round. Oh, look. Can I talk to you? You again. Gerlinda. Gerlinda found herself a place to do a little business. She hasn't seen any other Growok since arriving in this shithole kingdom. But Growok or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. Speaking of business, Gerlinda has something you might be able to help with. She's looking for some items. This vining bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Galinda is undeserving of what she seeks, traveler. And self-centered besides. 
You would do well not to aid her in. You know full well the agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge, which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal, and now Gerlinda wants those crystal tablets to help in her runes missing. So, if you find any in your travels, bring them to Gerlinda, and she'll do right by you. As I would not to Galinda, I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, Traveler. Even upon pain of death. Okay, so what can we get? Black Feather Ranger Shield. Black Feather Ranger is one of the darkest episodes in the history of all Black Feather Rangers. Occurred when they're forced to hunt at their own blah blah blah. That's not too bad. And we got crossbow. Which we do need. Minor fire salts, ammunition pouch, and brightstone. Uh, prison fail. Don't particularly want anything else from there. Oh. We can upgrade our equipment. But then we can also sell our equipment. Anything we're not going to particularly use. Not going to use you. We're not going to use you. Agility. D plus agility. C plus in strength. D plus. Uh, that's C in strength. Bell staff. Bell staff. Bell staff. Bell staff. Scourge sister flail. Which is D in agility. Point stick, don't really need. Uh, that's E and E. Plane shield. And then pale eye shield. Ancient shield of unknown origin. Increases your inferno to gain further insight. Okay. Agony light. A tool of self punishment as a radiant, uh, as a radiant catalyst. Ooh. Not all of those. Okay, so I won't sell you. Uh, I'm gonna keep all these because you never know. Increase your radiance. Okay. <gasps> We've got you. I am so gonna wear that helmet. I don't care if it mismatch, mismatch. 147 physical. Damn! Right. Let's have a look at our equipment. Um, let's go. Fire on with her. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. We're wearing you. Bunga Bunga style. Got a lot more, but the weight is just astonishing. 8.5. Exactly the same. Paladin leggings. Let's have a look. 7.3. Still better. 147, just one, but holy damage and wither takes a massive hit. Physical takes a massive hit as, as well as that, but holy and fire, damn. Uh, I would need physical, I would need both physical and holy to go up against the next boss fight, but I like this. Look at me, I am the Unga Bunga Crusader. Why? Yeah. Nope, wrong one, god damn it. Uh, we are gonna go to not the bell room, not Saint. Uh, let's walk to a seedling. Bit of a shame that I can't go. Okay, so here's our seedling. Uh, I don't want to go there. Um, let's. Walk to the bell room because then we can go down by the elevator and get see, see, unga bunga guy. Oh, 
Okay. Come on then. Uh, you've got some weird ass name. I can't read your name, laddie. Oh, you hit me anyway. Oh, you hit me anyway. I am... Oh, that's why. I need to remove you. There we go. Okay, he still hit me anyway, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Now we've got this dude as well. No, he killed me anyway. Well, he didn't kill me. He sent me to the Imbil Rim. Stop it. Oh, really? You come down? <sighs> okay. Well, that happened. Right, let's rest. Get all of our stuff back. There's a place that we need to go to get the... Sentinel thingy -ma thing. I think it's this way. Yeah, it is. Doing, doing, doing. Okay, that didn't work. Come on, then, one more. Doing, doing. No, 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 no. I like the way he was just sitting there, like, don't hit me, please. Please don't hit me. Nego Umbro. Ow! That was just a waste. That just hurt a lot. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Nope, missed. You are not allowed to touch me. One, two, three. Gather you, gather you. Of course. Pull you. There we go. What do we get from you? Uh, Umbro Eye of Rosamund. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Just cheap, easy. No. No. It's one way to do it, isn't it? Right. I knew it. I knew you were coming. Anti-Hallowed Sentinel Sneeze. Sneeze? Sentinel Warmar. Hallowed Helm. Could be worse. What do we get? Bleed Resistant Balm. At the top of here. Did you drop something? Nope. No, no, no. You're not allowed to hit me. Oh. Ow. I don't know, I thought I'd let these guys get hit, you know. No. 
Uh, minor fire assaults. You guys are going to transform. And so are you. It's fine. I like the way when you roll past them, they get like sort of staggered. Oh, hi. Oh my god. What are you? <laughs> I have no idea what that did, but that did something. There is a lot. Uh, do we need the Umbral Realm for any of this stuff? Yes, we do. Stuff over there. But we can quickly get out of it. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, don't need any more enemies, to be perfectly honest. I think we got enough. So. Where's the Unga Bunga Man? There's three of them. It's that dude. I've got a feeling he's here. Can you come a bit closer? So I can drop on your head and kill you. Got you. Right. Come on in. Throw a hit. Miss. Oh, you got me. Well done. Heal. Ouch. 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 I have no idea what I was doing. But yeah, I can kill these guys now. Ow. You cheeky mother... That is what I didn't mean to swear. I don't think I did swear, but I, if I did, I'm sorry. What did you drop? Uh, pure blade helm. Oh yes, some free goodies. Ha ha! I thought that would be a spiky head, dude. <gasps> you can pull that ladder down now. That was the ladder. I was like, how the hell do we get that? Well, how the hell do we get that ladder? And then I realised, oh, we get it from here. Ha ha! Do it. Yes. Oh, you're all dead. Whoopsie. Now, what do we get? Hallowed Sentinel Scripture. That's what we needed to give um, thingy guy. Priest guy. Can't remember his name now. But this is a vestige place where we can put vestige. Which, to be perfectly honest, I don't see a point. Uh, ancient and caged head. We've got two of them now. So that's sound. There he is. There's no one behind us, is there? Okay, that worked. Ouch! I am not dying to you. Goodbye. Give me all your souls. Thank you. And now we can climb up the ladder. Because i got to admit, there's no point putting the vestige seed there when you've just put the ladder down. So, in all fairness, we're going to go back to a vestige point, rest, so we can now uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't know what that lever does. Does it close the door or the mechanism seems stuck? Well, in all fairness, I don't know what it does, so. Oh, hello, piece of candy. Pride bound. Nice. Uh, right. 
So unlock that chest. Ooh, that's a bit of a drop. And um, we go in the water, it will kill us anyway. So do 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 do. We will go into Umbral, but it'll only be quickly just to get through the water. Because I got a sneaky suspicion. Right. Yeah. I thought so. Oh, got no choice but to head the other way, actually. Uh, you know what? We're going to use... A moth. Didn't particularly want to, but... It saves a couple of minutes, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Oh, we lost all our souls as well. Oh. Uh, we're going to go back to Skyrest, give it to Exodar. Domino, blah, blah, blah. That dude. Once we give it to that dude, it should be fine. Now, it should be three items, I believe. The Blood Vial. Book of Sins and the Hallowed Sentinel Scripture. While even the handling of such items is objectionable, all facets of this heterodoxy must be exposed. Two fellow crusaders accompanied me to Mornstead. One, a paladin who sacrificed himself to facilitate your resurrection. The other, a harrower who revealed herself to be an apostate and thief. When she stole the apparatus with which I am able to converse with the Council of Overseers. An apparatus I would see returned to me by your hands. Harrowed Dervla can be found in the tenebrous bowels of the mine. A fitting place for one who has turned her back on Aureus Light. Whatever poisonous lies Derva may spit at you, heed them not. For they are nothing but the foul blasphemies of a fallen knave. Hey guys, I don't know what happened there, but I uh, got a phone call and then all of a sudden Streamlabs started to crash. So that is pretty much what, you serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Uh, you know, Dunmire says. Purpose, so what we're going to do now, because we've got bleed resist and we've got minor fire salts. And I'm going to put the fire salts on when we head in. Head to the bell. Um, not head to the bell. God damn it. Uh, what's it? Fight the hound lady. I actually forgot her name. But yeah, we're gonna head <clears throat> over there. A lamp bearer got killed by this guy again. I got me. It's a sneaky guy. Literally, because of his attack. Of his um, his attack. One of them. If you come into his line of sight just right, like slowly walk, and you're in his line of sight for a little bit, he's a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky guy. I was gonna say, just die. Um, forgot the uh, boss's name now. Oh, do I was about to like roll? <laughs> that would be a silly mistake. Um, I hope you're liking the episodes, guys. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's like a sort of gameplay walkthrough sort of thing. We're exploring it as we go. Um, so yeah, uh, if you are enjoying it, like, subscribe, you know, all, all that jazz. I'm just doing it because I love gaming, to be honest, and I hope to share this experience with you. So, what the plan is, is we're going to pop the bleed resistance, pop the minor assaults. Uh, hopefully... Yeah, she's disappeared now. She was standing here. Let me double check. Uh, I don't want you. I don't want you. Uh, I do want... You. And then I'm a... No, uh, bleed salts. Then I'm gonna add minor fire salts, smite cure, uh, 
A boost item discovery rate. Oh, when the hell did I get you? No idea when I got him. Uh, do you know what? That's about it. But we are going to. I am going to use that right now. In all fairness, that kind of sucks. Did not time it right at all. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Look at my health. Such short health. Uh same piece of Vestas Cheese, ammunition pouts, and all the other stuff. So that was whoever that was, I didn't even read the name. I was like, no, you're dying. Straight away, I was like, ah, you are dang. You killed me once, now you die. So that was that. She was actually pretty decent. Uh, the dogs, a little bit annoying. Best way to do it is let them attack, then sort of sideswap, and then do that. Lock on, wait for them to attack, side swipe, side step to their right or left, and then attack their sides or their rear. As you, as you can see, they were armored around the neck, so it was a bit naff for that. What if you hit him around the neck then, you know. Ooh. You see the sort of kickback their armor sort of has. Didn't really see much in the sort of area. Ooh, there was something there. What are you? Uh poison resistance bar armor, that's pretty nice actually. Nope, okay, they're indestructible tweaks. This humming. I do not like it. Vestige of Olyrian. Done you. We can upgrade our character. We'll upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade strength twice. Uh, let's do our radiance. And let's see about using. Ooh. Is a question to use or to do. Paladin's spend repeat strength and endurance attributes. Okay, and then. Nope. Can't use that because we need 13 Inferno. That's a bit naff. Can't use that because we need. 28 strength. So we've got. Where is it? Do I swap you for you? Oh, I do. It's a catalyst. Uh, Surround yourself with rain oil, which decreases damage received. Is that it? Oh, yes, because I need uh, Umbral Catalyst as well. And an umbral catalyst. You know, we'll try you. Uh, up you. Then go you. Which 
causes a little bleed. Ah, right, Roger. Forsaken Fen. Apologies for the dour mood you found me in when last we met, but uh, I've packed up since then. Found myself a new purpose. Uh, at least something to keep me occupied while in Mornstead. I'm going to be a traveling merchant. Please, peruse my wares. Hopefully you'll see something of interest. Huh. Some might use the word scavenger, true. But that sounds somewhat judgmental, don't you think? I'm just putting to use that which has been discarded. You could even say that there's a sort of nobility in it. Well, perhaps just a little. Okay, let's see what he has. Hello again, friend. He has a rock, fire salts, pilgrim bandit, uh, sorry, uh, exiled stalker headscarf, ranger gloves. <clears throat> Ooh. War wolf hood, that looks awesome. Oh my god, and that. Cloud store card, default black ranger, ranger armor. And a lucky foot. Poison, uh, exiled stalker dagger, avowed mace, pointed stick. So that's about it. But I can't, it, that drains really rapidly, to be honest. I'm not even kidding. That does drain quite rapidly. So I probably need to sort of upgrade my mana, which I really didn't realize. But that will be. There you go. Map of Forsaken Fen. Which is that. Uh, which is noted there. So there's one there. Then we see the Undergrow. And then we're split halfway. And there's that. Okay. So. There's the fell one. Where is. Skyrus Bridge. I think that's it. Right in the middle. Okay. We've done you. I think. Done the Pilgrim Purchase Scent. Then we've done the Descent. And now we're on to the Forsaken. Okay. That will be awesome, actually. Okay, yeah, right, right, right. I can see it a bit better. So that's where we start. Um, we go around there, and I got a sneaky suspicion we find the Light Reaper again, which is going to be a fun thing to do. Which I am. Um, what I'm planning to do is off camera I'll just do a bit of farming. Uh, here and there, uh, to make sure that we are ready for it. Because of what are we now? We are level 33. We got 23 strength, 17 endurance, which ain't too bad. Our vitality is 19 and 17. I would like our current man is 277. I'd like to be sort of above 550 health. Maybe double mana, about 400 mana. Uh, stamina, about 500. Maybe get all, uh, get strength in, well, definitely pump strength up to 30. Endurance, 20, 25. Vitality, 30. Radiance. Round about, I don't know, 25 maybe? I don't know what increases our mana, to be perfectly honest. I do need to add this into the the, uh, the equipment now. Uh, let's get rid of you. Got 24 of them. So that's not too bad. If you use them, it's only a short amount of time. Let's see how... Only about 120. 120, 165, 180. 210, 225, 240. Okay, so the small one does 120 per. Per thing, okay. Ticks. 
Oh, okay. Uh, shades of violence. Apply a tink to a piece of gear. Don't even know what that does. No, I don't want photo mode. New 3D photo. Oh, for God's sake, man. Uh, I don't even know how I got onto that. There you go. Oh! Changes to color. Ooh. Let's go. Bronze, pride bound, ice grip. Oh, pride bound. That looks naughty. Uh, let's change that to pry bound so that's like reddish then let's see what that does to pry bound that's blue it's bright blue it's green that's also red that's too much red uh. hmm Great color bound, is it? Let's change that to that and then move you to. No, that's too goddamn bright. Hmm. That's just bright red. Bright bound. Bronze. What does the bronze look like? Greenish. Okay, I quite like that actually. I do actually quite like that. That's actually not too bad. Oh my god, I'm hurting myself here. This is painfully weird. Quite like that. Uh, wow, that hurts my head a lot. Uh, hmm. Huh. Just thought that would look pretty cool, actually. Um, but yeah, if you guys like what you see, uh, give a like, give a subscribe, and uh, the next one will be taking over the Forsaken Fan and, you know, heading over there. That's where we'll be going to get that beacon and probably that little Coliseum. That looks awesome, actually. Uh, but yeah. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, and in all fairness, I hope to see you on the next one.